It's time for musical landscaping. There's a little tapping. I love it. A little dancing. Oh, you would really help. Some singing in the rain. Weather's calling for rain for the next two days. But in the end, I oh, can't wow. believe I this. It. It's definitely not the same old song and dance. My name is Joel. I'm a landscape designer. My partners and I have a business philosophy. You've got to love what you do, and you've got to treat your clients like family. And that's how we get repeat customers. Well, that and a wicked office partner. We know the leads from previous work. We took on their front yard two years ago. We got lots of compliments from, from neighbors and friends, so um, we decided that when we do the backyard, we'll, we'll have them do it again. So what exactly is the problem with the backyard? We have a good sized backyard and we never really utilized it. Three things that the client doesn't like about their backyard, the retaining wall, it's a pressure treated dated timber wall that spans the whole backyard. The planting plan is a little overgrown and scrubby and ready for an overhaul. But I think just the lack of, of anything being there and lack of interest, it's just wide open lawn with one tree. The leaves are definitely looking to create more privacy. We love reading, so we're going to put in a reading nook as well. As for the overall style... Uh, we would love to have an extension of what's inside, which is uh, very contemporary. It's actually an interesting combination between a sort of 50s style, but then it has an arts and craft element to it with the squares. And we're going to do our best to work with the great features in this yard, including this locust tree. Do you want the locust? Yes. But everything else, we're going to rebuild better, stronger, and faster. There's so many exits. I think there's one, two, three, four, five sets of French doors. So we have to pull them all together. So it would be great to create a few different areas for them to entertain in. The main patio will be uh, in this area, uh, focusing on the locusts, which would be a great viewing garden off their kitchen. Right, and then they have their dining room here. So I guess, you know, some kind of patio to spill out from there. So this would be like a separate zone two entertainment area, if you want to call it that. Yep. And then and I guess a third thing they're looking for, where do you think might be a great idea for well, the uh, reading nook? That'd be a perfect place for the reading nook. Yeah. And it's a good sized yard that it can probably handle accommodating all those things. I think so. And I think we move along this retaining wall because I think it only slopes up wow. about two feet. So I think we should propose maybe just having that slope down. I and love it when that happens because as opposed to looking at this blunt retaining wall, you're looking at this flow of earth which could be beautifully planted with plant material. That's right. And also just the expense of replacing that retaining wall with another, we put that money towards something architectural in the garden. Yep. And also there's some grading issues. So we're probably going to put decking in rather than stone terrace to just keep the cost down. Actually, there could be a really nice blend here between natural flagstone, man-made stone, and decking, so that the wood could help sort of warm things up. We also want to delineate this vast space with screens to give it a more human scale. So out with the old and in with the new. We got rid of that retaining wall that was bugging us. Now to turn our attention to plants in this huge space. I love this idea of having plants sort of in between the breaking up the break, rooms. Yeah, bringing up the rooms. I love the, the idea that this actually could be something like a Japanese a lace and right. Japanese maple. I guess the key like decision that. is to decide whether they're going to be upright or yeah. weeping growth or a, a lace leaf Japanese maple. Perfect structure. And these are all existing cedars. They yeah, help. They're really healthy. healthy. And making for a nice side. Wall. Some people might have chosen to take the locust out, but we wanted to keep the key design elements in this design and uh, remove some of the shrubs that weren't of any use to us, really. I think this area over here could make for a very nice sort of perennial garden. I agree. I do too. I the Iwanos Colorados to still be Leatris. That's I think that's a be good nice. sort of combo for that area. If you just pull that out of your hat, that's amazing. I just think like that's good. good. You're a savant. That triad is a sure <laughs> win. I can't as wait to as see. As long as Alan thing. likes it. I can't yeah, it's true. looks good. Next, another tough decision. We want the brown one. <laughs> we don't want the taupe. Where's the lake? Uh, right here. 
How's it looking? Looking great. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the gut weed is gonna be a bit of a hassle coming out. Is that out. this stuff? That's the variegated stuff. Extremely invasive, so if we don't get it all, it'll bounce back and wreck what we're trying to do. Well, all of this is coming out. Oh, yeah, Kevin, nice work. <laughs> Where's the chainsaw? You know what, maybe you wanna like, just push it so it doesn't fall on their fence. Watch it. <laughs> Let's do more. Let's yeah, do that one. <laughs> <laughs> Winning the war against trees. The only thing I guess there would be reasons for concern are the roots of the locust. So I guess when you start digging, we'll find out. The amount of damage that we're doing to these roots shouldn't cause a tree any harm, but. They decide patios in this spot. <laughs> I'm just the one that makes them. <laughs> the tree's gonna be fine. I hope. We landscaped the front probably two years ago, and now they decided they wanted to do the back, so now we're gonna dig up a lot of the front to get to the back. The irrigation is already going through here and there's gonna be no way to get around it, so I'm just gonna cut out the sprinkler heads and try and salvage them. There's multiple lines that run out of here. There's gonna be no way around it. Here's cable. So I'll just run it over and see what happens. And we're on a little bit of a slope here. Once it gets wet, the machine will tend to wanna to slide into the fence. So we'll be okay, unless it rains. The weather's calling for rain for the next two days. Uh-oh. To stop the skid steer from sliding, we're going to fill the wheel ruts with more dirt. That should work out fine as long as it doesn't rain. That's just great. Well, they don't call us dirty business for nothing. Or electricians for that matter. Right now, I am fixing the uh, cable that I inadvertently ripped out. Or plumbers. I'm having some water issues over here. Our skid steer took out the irrigation system, but we still need water to work in the backyard. So we've got to get the leak capped as fast as possible. Yeah, I just need you to cap an existing line that's running into the uh, hose bib. A little sweet talk goes a long way. You are the best. Presto, leaks fixed. All right, we got water. Everything's great now. Feel the tamp for Marcus uh, tomorrow. Yep, water's not a problem anymore. Looks like the weekend's starting a little bit early. Pretty good progress. Not too shabby, although the fence has seen better days. Well, the fence over there, yeah. we definitely need to stain it now. So we're going to give it a coat of black stain. Black? Black. <laughs> okay. All if right. it's okay with you guys, actually. Maybe I should ask you guys if that's all right. Yeah, you know what? It's a black stain. We've used it before. It's really uh, nice and classy, and it's not solid, so it brings out some of the grain of the wood. We use it because it's like a shadow line, and it just makes everything disappear. Alan does have one request. For the reading nook. And for the reading nook. He wants the patio and reading nook to tie into the design used in the front garden. It works so well on the front, it would be a great idea to carry some of that into the back for okay. sure. Yeah, just it, it, all you have to do is just readjust it. So we'll just I just take this one brick out, Yeah. and then you're garden by the come to there. Yep. Everything's worked out really well. We're in good shape unless the weather really turned to get the project done this year. So that, I'm very happy with it. Thank you. Tim should be along in the next few days to get started on woodwork. But before he can get started, Tim has to handpick all of the cedar for this project. So he's giving me a lesson on how to get good wood. For me, I, you, you have that feeling that uh, I have to take what they give me and all that stuff, but I think the kind of work we're doing and the people we're dealing with, 
it has to be hand-picked. Oh, you're right. Uh, what kind of things would you look for? You know the first thing I look at? I look at the end cuts to see how fresh it is. That's a fresh cut. Ah. See the difference? Yeah, absolutely. This is a fresh left. You can tell this is just fresh. This wood is, is graded construction cedar. Right. Which means one good face, one good edge. Ah. After that, you're on your own. Half the job, half the job sometimes is hiding the flaw. Like, give them this example, this one here. Yeah. That's good one face, that's the good edge. Right. This one here, chances are we can hide that on the fascia underneath the deck board. You won't see it. I guess buying from the same place makes it a huge, lot Huge easier. difference. Sometimes they'll bring a, a special lift out and they'll put it aside for me in the back and, oh, we got a lift here for you. That's good. Yeah. That's oh, nice yeah, to hear. They're excellent. And while Tim's choosing cedar, the pine's going in. Alan approved our planting plan, and these pines will provide a soft screen of green right at the back of the yard. And we're getting everything squared away to keep this project on the right path. The temperature's dropping, so work in the backyard is picking up to make sure this project is done before it snows. proposal for your reading room rooftop. So this just shows the rafters and what we're proposing is a four by four sheet of glass in the middle to give you a little bit of feeling of enclosure. And also if it does rain a little bit, you don't have to run in right away. We don't right. want to give you a solid roof, but just a little bit of an open feeling with it. Okay. Do you like that? It's gorgeous. No? It's gorgeous? It's beautiful. No, thank it's you. Beautiful. So we're, I guess we should show Tim if we can actually build it then. Here's the rooftop proposal for the reading room. And um, can we build it? Are they doubled over? Is there two of them? Yes, two yes. of them with space. You know what we do, the, the the spacing between like the posts and the tempered grass, that kind of feeling. So you want an inch related. all the way around the yeah. outside? Do we need an inch? Not an inch, but just an opening. Smidgen. Okay. I don't know how much a smidgen Can you say is. fly by night design? Hello. Alan, I'm sure you have the utmost confidence <laughs> in us right now. Basically, the roof is going to be an open lattice with a glass panel at the center. In all, it'll be eight feet high. The top of the arbor is eight feet, okay. so that means the bottom seven foot six. So I, I think seven foot six is. Do you have any I, friends taller than seven foot four? Um, well, we know Yao Ming, so he, he comes <laughs> okay. by the time. Is he the basketball player? <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> I know that. I don't know. Two points. Meanwhile, back at the office, we're having some scheduling issues. The uh, plants are coming to Lee on kind of Thursday. With the fishing thing. I will be canceling the fishing thing to take care of the Lees if need be. This is it can, the it thing. Can go go. To next week. We're going fishing. We've Very scheduled this professional, in. We're trying to be professional, serious business clients first. I'm going to start putting my sure. job first. That's pretty. <laughs> well, that would be good for business. <laughs> That's why we're here. So. While James goes fishing, Laura and I are taking care of the plants. Daddy, out. You have the plan, you Laura. Go I'll go this way. Well, I know where these go. I know where these go. It's a type of dogwood. It's called a winter beauty dogwood. We love them. Lousy. Golden shower. That's what they're called. See? So these are for the more kinky members of our uh, clientele. You see, I'm not doing uh, pretty face. A little river of the one with Colorado's here. And I think it's yeah. going to be a beautiful little uh, viewing garden. And it's really nice how it's contained with these screens, which aren't quite finished yet. Yeah, it's going to be a really successful area because it's really separating the garden nicely into the sort of living area and a little reading area in that corner and an area off the dining room where they can lay out their chaise lounges and yeah. stuff. And speaking of chaise lounges, It's about time we get our stylist Lisa here to figure out some of the furniture. It looks like you've basically brought out four more rooms. This has always been 
I think for all of us, the, the area that would have the dining table, it's a beautiful okay. natural flagstone patio. It's kind of hard to see. I especially love what you've done with the mud feature. <clears throat> well, this is a, a great feature. Really Planning on leaving it. It should look great <laughs> next summer, which is excellent. The boys are just about to sod it, which should make a really nice dramatic difference again. I wouldn't put anything on the lawn. Yeah. Just because we have all these other areas, it'd be nice to have some open space. It is right. outside after all. I want to furnish this backyard in a contemporary way. So my mission is to find pieces that are all contemporary, but different, so that each area is defined and interesting in and of itself. Lee, things look good, um, too good. There's only one thing that could stop us from finishing this project. Hey, look, there's an iceberg. Where's the patio? Uh-oh. Ron, did you take the patio up? It's white. Makes the screen stand out, doesn't it? Wow. So it's the first yeah. time I've seen the fence, so it looks really good. It looks You happy terrific. with it? Yes. And for your, all your good work, we actually have a little something for the both of you. And uh, there's something for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Usually I get the bottle. I might be in the shape of an alcoholic uh, beverage. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's probably great. Well, now we can hug. Thank you. <laughs> another backyard, another happy ending. And we are eager for the spring to come when we uh, get to go outside and really enjoy and see how it turns out. I love this table. This is beautiful. This is something Amazing. else, guys. <laughs> Good work, Tom. Yeah, one of the, the challenges would have been that it's just so open. So you don't really want to have a site where you come out and it's all just given away for you. So what we wanted to do was to create rooms. And we did that through plant material and privacy screens. It's cool. like the biggest room in the house. Look at this place. But then there's this there's, deck area over there's here. There's so many places to go. I'm just shaking it. <laughs> Your eye just isn't hit with one area. It's like a painting. Your eye just carries around the canvas beautifully. Some design inspirations would be uh, definitely working with the architecture of the house. It has to have cohesion with the house. And the client has finished their house with these beautiful arts and crafts squares. And we've just continued it along, which makes for a beautiful flow with the project. Really showcase the elements um, from the inside as well. We like squarish, geometric, right angle patterns. They did a terrific job of presenting that for the outdoor space as well. What I love is the tree, though. Yeah. It's like a canopy. We're dealing with half sun and half shade, so we had to specific uh, materials for shade, which always limits your palette with plant material. There's sort of the trees, the shrubs, and the perennials. So trees behind the reading nook, and the Japanese maples are beautiful specimen trees, sort of breaking up spaces and adding to the room feeling. Shrubs were just sort of dotted throughout, but behind us in the uh, dining area, we went with a perennial bed, which should have lots of interest throughout the year. Beautiful. This turned out well, way better than color, right? That little splash of color Isn't with the pillows. Isn't it something? Nice. nice. Clients nice. will give you a wish list every time. So the client loved to read, and uh, they wanted a nice, quiet area in the garden to get away to, like anybody would. So hence the reading of you still have another oh, eight yeah. feet to the fence back there? Yeah. People, you know, a lot of times people want to push it all. I want to just show off how big our yard is, but it's about mood more than it is about just function. And, hey, and look at how much space I have. That's a yeah. great point. It's about mood. My wife and I, we enjoyed the view last night, sitting in the, um, the day bed. You can see the entire uh, backyard area. And with the lighting at night, it's just simply uh, beautiful. I love the feel of the low-lying decks. I love the fact that even though there's different spaces, they still sort of have these common themes, like the, the verticals. Everybody tends to jam the decks against the house. You know, here you are with a beautiful pocket planting with a, a columnar uh, crab apple, breaking it up, creating a garden space within a sitting area. I love it. I would describe our backyard as uh, a tranquil summer retreat. Um, we don't own a cottage, so this will be in place for us to unwind and, and relax after a long, long week. Great work. Nice work, boys. All of right. dynamite. Great team. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh. Oh. Nice. And they're great because they always offer us scrumptious desserts when we go to their I house. Know, you know? That, I hope that continues for sure. 
The leaves are our favorite customers. I know. Far. All the problems go away. Mm -hmm. You I give us cookies, we give you plants. Okay, oh, thank you. That's a, that's a fair trade. Everything's working out. Right. Everything's working out. Uh, we had cake last time. That was good cake. Well, we'll work on that. Uh, we'll work on that. Do you need the tip first? No, don't do Oh, killer. Mm. I think I'll try one of those.